Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Access Link ChatGPT plugin that you can use to access any links on the internet and get any information about those web pages. So before I would show an actual example on how to use the Access Link ChatGPT plugin, I just want to let you know that I have a full tutorial on my website on the Access Link ChatGPT plugin. And in that tutorial, I also talk about some of the best use cases you can use this plugin with. And I also share some of the best prompts you can use the Access Link ChatGPT plugin with. So if you're interested in more details, make sure to check out this article. I will link it in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. All right, but now let's see how to use the Access Link ChatGPT plugin. All right, so before you would be able to use any plugins in ChatGPT, you have to make sure that you have enabled the plugins feature in your ChatGPT account. And to be able to do that, currently you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription. But once you have enabled plugins, all you have to do is click on New Chat on the top left of your screen. Then select GPT-4 from the model selector. Then select the plugins option. Then here you're going to see this drop down arrow. Click on it. And as you can see, I have already installed the Access Link Chat GPT plugin. If you haven't, you have to scroll down and click on plugin store and search for the Access Link plugin and install it. Once the plugin is installed, all you have to do is enable the plugin and you can enable any plugins by clicking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. Now we can start prompting the plugin and if we are using the right prompt, we're going to be able to activate the plugin. So let's see an example. So I have this article on how to use ChatGPT plugins. Let me show you it quickly. So this is the article. This is basically an introduction to ChatGPT plugins. I also talk about what are ChatGPT plugins, how do they work and how to use them basically. And what we want to do is basically summarize this article for me and I also add bullet points. So I want to get a quick summary of this article on how ChatGPT plugin works and how to use it. And all I had to do is add this prompt and this URL of the article. And of course you can customize this prompt in any way you want. If you want to get some ideas, as I mentioned, you can check out the article on the Access Link ChatGPT plugin. But once you edit your prompt, all you have to do is click on send message here. Right, so as you can see, we don't have to use any kind of function or fancy language. ChatGPT is clever enough to know that if the Access Link ChatGPT plugin is activated and you want to browse a web page, it has to use the Access Link uh, ChatGPT plugin and it has done that. So as you can see, it has sent the URL and the chat context as a request to access link. And as you can see, it scraped the complete article. And based on that article, it gave us a summary of the article in bullet points. So I'm not going to read the complete summary, but you can pause the video and read the bullet points and check if it has really given a good summary of this ChatGPT article on how to use ChatGPT plugins. So all you know, this is how to use the Access Link ChatGPT plugin. If you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins that you can use for SEO, marketing, business, productivity, finance, cryptocurrencies, stock trading, I have a ton of ChatGPT plugin tutorials on my YouTube channel that you can check out and more are coming up. So make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.